Three top five. Phil Nevin. Uh, Fideo Nomo, grand slam, seventh of Nevin's career. Nomo allowed seven runs on seven hits and five. Two batters later. New pod. to Bagwell. Swinging and drives it back into left field. Watch it, watch it. And what do you think? Grand slam. Grand salami. So the next man is Lance Berkman. Career 260, 10 homers right-handed from the left side. 309, 116 homers. But Lance said, got more power from the right side. This man knows himself. Berkman, deep and out. First career grand slam from the right side. 5-1 Astros at that point. They win it by count of seven. It's Casey Blake walks him on the 3-2 pitch. So base is loaded for Travis Hafter. And this isn't a walk, but it's a drive. he's more of a trot. That's a grand slam after his fourth homer this season. First slam of his career. He'll get the curtain call from the opening day crowd. The Tribe get themselves a 4 nothing. Reach The infield has to come in. And a high fly ball hammer deep toward right. Back goes Kearns. It's a grand slam for Lee. Oh, that's got to make him feel great. 7-4, bases loaded, two outs. Matt Stairs, Jeremy Robertson, first pitch, eight miles high, eighth grand slam of his career, and a fan wins 25 grand in a radio promotion for that grand slam. About the Barry Bonds era, swinging a high fly deep to left. This one's sailing, headed for those boxes and gone. It's a grand slam for Jim Edmonds, his third home run of the year. And the Cardinals are turning this one into a full-fledged laugher in Houston, Texas. 3-3, three, three, bottom eight. Gomez next at bat, two outs, bases loaded. Grand slam. The first of Gomez's career and only the fifth ever given up on Schilling. Toronto wins 7-3. They get their first home win all year. They are now 1-8 and eight at Skydome. Eh? Four pitches in the sixth were balls, and then bases loaded. It's Inge again. Five-year anniversary of Fernando Tatis hitting two grand slams in one inning, a major league first. Inge goes grand. And the Tigers win at 17-3. Get the cycle there for keepers. Right. So the question is now, is he going to get another at bat? Bottom seven, Tigers with the bases loaded. Down 5-0. Brandon Inge, layer down and smack him, yak him. Grand slam shot, third of the year, and his second grand slam in four games. I'd like to knock some people in. In the left field, going back is Cordero at the wall. And a fan interfered with it. The umpire is signaling home run. The umpire signals Grand Slam. And it is 9 to 7. Brian Dallimore. The eighth of the bases loaded. They are full of Yankees. And here's Sierra. Say hello. Bolofra. Two homers. He drove in seven. Yanks win 12 4 in Oakland. Rubio Durazo. But the base is loaded facing Trevor Miller. That's a grand slam. His fourth home run on the season. His second career granny. It's a 6 1. Just guessing here. Bottom seven now. Base is loaded. Two outs. 3 2 Halos. Shane Halter pinch hitting for Jeff Devannon. Later. Grand slam off Trevor Miller. First pinch hit grand slam by an angel since 78. Halos win it. 7 2. That's eight in a row. In scoring position. Figgins hits it well. Deep to right field. Look at this. His first big league home run is a grand slam. Hey, right. Top of the third. Bags full for Cliff Floyd. You know, welcome back. Second game off the DL. And just like that, fourth career grand slam. Two for four was Floyd. He's hitting 345. He means so much to that lineup. Uh, if they keep this up, they got oh. a shot at fifth place. Okay, great. Now, anyway, Matthew LeCroy, the only available player on the Twins bench the entire day, pinch hitting with the bags full is because everybody else was hurt, and LeCroy hits it out. Off of Terry Adams, a pinch hit grand slam. 16 of Minnesota's 24 victories have been comeback wins. Said twin skipper Ron Gardenhire. This was so big that guys who wouldn't normally hug were hugging. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it? Six up with the bases chock full of fish, but in nearly 3,500 at bats, he had never hit a grand slam. Castillo a switch hitter, but goes ahead and hits righty against knuckleballer Steve Sparks, and that turned out to be the right decision because Sparks' delivery is now flying. Grand slam, Castillo's first homer of the season, first slam of his career. Marlins score eight in the third, and it's 10 nothing for three, but did have an RBI. Two batters later, bases loaded for A.J. Pruszynski, and you're so not catching that. Grand slam, second homer of the year. Giants win 7-2. Walks for Kevin Millwood, and then Andrew Jones, I make you pay.
He throws strikes. They hit him a long way. Grand slam. 11th for Andrew of the season. Braves win it 6-1. to one. On ball, two strikes to Michael Barrett. Fly ball, hammered left center field. Pretty deep. Can anybody get there? Rep it at the track. Hit the wall. It's gone. A grand slam off the bench for Barrett. And the Cubs have turned the game around 5-4. to four. The pitch. Swinging drive to right. Very well hit. Way back. Mock whack. Tolly whack. Give that dog a bone. Grand slam. Hey, how about that, Garrett McCulviak? Your dad just hit a game-winning grand slam. Hi. Base is loaded for David Ortiz in the bottom of the fifth. You know he's got 99 career home runs, so what a way to get 100. Goes grand slam, his 11th. The Red Sox go up 6-4. They win 8-4. And Pedro Martinez continues his dominance of the Mariners. Struggling. Seattle 1-9 in his 10 starts this year. The bases are full of Jays in the second for Josh Phelps. Now, now he unloads. Grand slam to right. The home run is his fifth of the year. And the Mariners sinking fast to Safeco Field. That made it 4-0. Blue Jays, they win 5-3. Julio Franco was playing in his 20th Major League season. Advantage veteran. First pitch. Top play nominee. Franco has just left the building in grand style. His first granny in eight years. And at nearly 46 years of age, becomes the oldest active player to hit a grand slam since 1900. Romora began the night tied with Kansas City's Ken Harvey for the AL lead with a 379 batting average. This will not hurt it. Up Victor Zambrano in the third. It's a grand slam, first career grand slam, and 45 at bats. And former Red Sox great Scott Hanneberg. Say hello to the little friend. Grand slam, seventh home run of the year for Hatterberg. The only 23-year-old Chicago right-hander on that mound, Mark Pryor, making his second start of the season, but bases loaded for Edgar Renteria, and you're so not catching that. Four-run homer, grand slam if you prefer. 5-0 Redbirds on Renteria's fourth of the season, but count eight on the evening. Bottom third, 4-0 A's, Damian Miller against Jose Acevedo, high deep gone, all those things, and a grand slam, fourth homer of the 650 from the right side. Bottom six, 6-4 six, Yanks with the bases chucked. John Flaherty, who drove in the go-ahead run, adds the insurance here with his third career grand slam and career hit number 805. Yankees, 10-4. They won 13 straight. And up 2 nothing. Bottom five, Rangers up 5-3. Brad Fulmer against relief pitcher Mike Johnston. Layered down, smack him, yak him. Grand slam, Fulmer's seventh. Texas up 9-3, Rangers sweep. Rogers, the first nine up three two. They're loaded in the fifth. Ruben Mateo, first career grand slam. The home run is second of the year. Puts the Pirates up seven four. Nobody out. Dave Duncan got to calm Chris Carpenter down. Don't make a mistake to Hank Laylock. Uh, okay. Just sneaks over the wall. His second career grand slam. His 14th home run. Blaylock drove in five. Rangers win 7-2. Carpenter waxed his first loss since April 14th. And the Rockies out of the inning. Top six, no outs. Bases loaded. Rockies now down 5-1. Rob Bell, Matt Holliday, Arrow, Freeze. Bat, scratch, fever. Holiday clears him. His first career granny. Jake Friday night would have gotten him to 500. Instead, he's sitting at 498. Willie Mopena was sitting at zero in Grand Slam for his career until then. 4 nothing Reds coming off. There later in the inning, A's up 4-3. Bases are chucked. Adam Melhews, you've got to have the money ball. Over the fingers jersey, his first career Grand Slam. A's go up 8-3 and win it large. Left in Munoz's head. Well, Two run homer and a grand slam. And it's 10 1. This ball is belted to right. It's fair. It's gone. Grand slam. Oh, man, you got to be kidding me. With Edgardo Alfonso do up. Brad Mills takes out Embry. Mike Timlin comes in to face Alfonso, and that strategy did not pay off. Fourth career grand slam for Alfonso. 
To the left center field, back goes Hunter at the track, at the wall. The first home run of 2004 for Garcia Parra is a grand slam that puts the Red Sox on top, 8-1. to one. Top eight. Mike Jackson comes in after Mark Burley loaded the bases. First pitch to Ben Broussard. Pinch hit grand slam. Indians win 9-5. They have won 13 of their last 20 games. And Gonzalez with the 2-1. Swung on! Hit deep to center field. That ball is gone! Grand slam! Willie Mo Pena of the Reds have scored six times here in the seventh inning. How about that? Right here. Swung on and belted deep into right field. Bautista is back to the wall. It is gone. It's a grand slam home run for Carlos Pena. Unbelievable. And the first pitch from Stanton. Swinging a high fly ball right field. Sailing deep. This ball headed for the stands. It's gone. With Dickey Matsui on the very first pitch he sees it's a grand slam for the Yankees. Older, older to watch this highlight. Stephen, like you that. just made it. <laughs> Chad Moeller. Hey, that's your first career grand slam, and it came off of Sean Estes yet. Your fourth home run of the year. Brewers are up 5-1, to one, just like that. Bases are loaded for the next hitter. Doug Mirabelli's got some pop. Hits it wicked hat. Grand slam, the second of his career, his sixth home run this season. Red Sox win 6-1. Kurt Schilling, the stopper, halts the four-game losing streak. He just ended a 213 at bat homerless streak on Friday, and he's still feeling it. Grand slam off Ricardo Rodriguez. Astros within one. Ensberg's second home run of the year. Still bottom five. Top six, two outs again. Hank Blaylock pinch hitting with the bases chucked, and oh, oh. Hank has just hit a grand slam. It's 22nd of the season. Large charge into that one. Rangers up 10-1. I'm telling you, two out hits will get you into heaven, guaranteed. Tenth home of the season, one of two on the day. Rangers up 12-1. And then 14-3 with two outs in the ninth. Mark Teixeira, grand slam. First time Rangers had two grannies in a game. Mench, Teixeira, Blaylock combined for 14 ribeyes. 16 of the 18 Ranger runs scored with two outs. Top of the second, bases loaded. Hank Blaylock with the Rangers trailing by a run. Get out of town, and he means it. It's a grand slam. Blaylock is four for seven with the bases loaded this season. Artosh, Rubio Durazo, pinch hitting for Bobby Kilty. 0-1 pitch from the lefty. Has just left the building. Grand slam. A's with seven runs in the sixth. Mulder wins his tenth straight. Zell Leiter walked two with two outs in the third to load the bases for Jeff Conine. Conine hits it high in the air to left. Grand slam. Home run, his sixth of the year. Sixth career granny, 4 nothing. 2 Bottom of the eighth, LaDuca with the base load of 55 career homers, never hit a grand slam until now. Get out of town, he means it. And the Dodgers say the same thing to the Astros. L.A. is a 7-4 to four winner. All right, top eight, three nothing Diamondbacks, but the bases are loaded. Randy Choate to Sean Green, and there goes Johnson's win. He will stay at 10 and seven. Green's seventh career grand slam over the pool, not moist, but enough to make Choate, Choate angry. Dodgers up. Eli Marrero facing Scott Downs, and Eli going up against Downs with a bags full. His third career grand slam. It's five nothing Atlanta. Marrero's sixth homer of the year. Top of the second. First pitch to Mark, a swing and a high drive, right center field. It is deep. Rios is back. He's at the wall. That ball is history. It's a grand slam home run for Mark Teixeira. Unbelievable. He's done it again. Fly ball, deep left center field. This one is gone. Goodbye, baseball. A walk-off grand slam home run for Brett. But the story was Mike Sweeney. Happy birthday to him. Turns 31 years old, July 22nd. Sweeney with one run bat in his last five, and boy, would that go up. Base is loaded in the second. When I say loaded, I mean empty. Sweeney to left, a grand slam. His six Cubs lead eight to two. Base is loaded for Aramis Ramirez. He takes Ryan Wagner deep to center field with the bases loaded and a home run. They call that a grand slam where I come from. Cubs lead 12 to two. Ramirez is seven. Seven innings. Look out for Nick Punto. Okay. Driven to right center field and tied pretty well. This one's up and gone. A grand slam. 
for Nick Punto. 5-1 Twins, Punto's first career grand slam. Next inning, same score. Your turn, my turn. To paraphrase someone I know, that's a little bit of a Ramalama grand slam. Tied at five, Baldelli. 4-1 Dodgers, Adrian Beltre with the bases loaded. Emphasis on belt. Crush. One out, four in. Three for four on the night. He now has 15 RBIs in his last eight games. That was his 27th homer. Back pitch, get him in the hit. Top seven, Detroit leads 5-2 with the bases loaded. Marcus Timms, his first career grand slam. Got to have the money ball. Tigers win it 9-2. Down of the inning, and it was the second run of the game. That ball into center. Damon back again. Still going back. Looks up. It's a grand slam. And look out. The Yankees are coming. As for his team, New York at Toronto. Yanks coming off the Sox series. Jays that just swept the Rays. Team. Sean Douglas making his first start in nearly two years. Jorge Posada, bases loaded, grand slam. Douglas says, baby, come. Kenny Lofton out there years ago. Bottom of the second, bases loaded. Crisp at the plate. There's more good managing by Eric Wedge. Get that guy in the lineup. Crisp had five RBIs. That's his first career grand slam. Fifth inning, Barry Larkin pinch hitting with the bases loaded. Two outs down, 8-3. Not for long. It pretty good to right. Going back. Sanders to the wall. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Larkin's second career grand slam. A pinch hit beauty. Willis, seven innings, five hits, one earned run. Alex Gonzalez has never hit a grand slam until now. Get out of town. He means it. Florida rocks Larry Boas Phillies 10 to 1. Termel Sledge would have even a better feeling. Top seven, bases loaded. Sledge. Get it hammer. Off Josias Manzanillo. His first career grand slam. He was in an 0 for 21 slump when this game began. Expos win it 8 5. Fifth straight win over the Marlins. Goes down as well. No question about. Contreras stuff, six innings, allowed two earned runs, then got his first win as a South Sider. Thanks to Paul Canerco with the bases chock full of socks. He clears him with his sixth career grand slam. Canerco's 28th home run this season. Socks have scored in double digits 18 times this season. That is most in the majors. Tied at six in the 12th, Tony Batista had already gone yard once, does it again, and this, his 200th career home run, the 100th grand slam in Bush Stadium history, and it gives the Expos a 10-6 win. Three, that's how many men were aboard for Toby Hall. Got a fastball, there it goes. See you later, grand slam. Devil Rays take the lead on Hall. Got him first, one out, bases loaded, no score. Jeff Conine with an opportunity. And we have seen this before. Earlier this year, Conine with a second grand slam this year, his seventh of his career. Marlins going to win at five zip. Jack McKean gets number 900. He said of Greg Maddox, I can always remember this day. I got mine the same day he got his. Gary DiMaggio and Ruth have hit more grand slams than Bernie Williams with the Yankees. That's his tenth of his career, and the Yankees are up. 4 nothing in the first. Bottom of the fourth. This is loaded for Ben Broussard. And Broussard goes grand. Salami is eighth of the year. The route is on. The game is over. The Indians have a comfortable 7 nothing lead. Hold that thought, Bob. Bottom of the sixth. The then the ice got busy. On a former Met, now Rangers starter, Scott Erickson. They loaded the bases on him in the second inning. Miguel Cairo. Ay caramba, somebody call the deli. It's a grand salami. Just like that, Buck Showalter and crew trailed the Yanks 4 0 on Cairo's first career grand slam. Another call to the bullpen. Vinny Chulk comes in. Next batter, pinch hitter, Ben Broussard. How about Ben? Broussard hits the 1 1 pitch to right, a grand slam, his third grand slam of the year. Second pinch hit grand slam. Getting squeezed next pitch. Nunez squeezes this one, a grand slam. His first home run of the season and just the second of his career. Mulder didn't allow a base runner past first until the sixth inning, but he ended up getting shelled for seven runs on eight hits and seven plus. Top eight, John Buck with the bases loaded, breaking an 0 for 21 slump. Another grand slam. Ball went out of play, 14 hits, eight for extra bases, including Ruben Sierra. Delicious grand slam. 
career home run 299 and the Yankees just pound what used to be the Seattle Mariners. 11-3 is your final. Loaded for Jeff Conine and Conine unloads a grand slam the eighth of his career. The home run is 10th this season. It's a seven run Marlins ninth in Florida. Goes into Miller Park and comes up with a big 11-1 win over the Brew Crew. John after the fifth, 77 pitches, it was a pitch count, it's an arm thing. Nick Johnson, bottom seven, bartender. Jack! Grand slam. Scott Hatterberg over the top. His fourth career grand slam, his eighth career homer against Baltimore, his 14th home run this year. Bottom nine, 11, not Lewis, and then Larry Walker. Walker, gone. Ninth home run of the year, grand slam. Walker three for four in this game, hitting 370 with 11 RBI since coming to St. Louis. Cards now with a 15-game lead over second-place Chicago, their largest lead since they won the 68 pennant. So a ride hit. Detroit took on the White Sox without their leading hitter. And Aaron Rowan goes to work not once, but twice. He homered twice in this game. This one happens to be a grand slam. Number 17 and 18 on the year. And the White Sox took out a pudgeless Tiger team 9-2. Top of the seventh, bags full for Josh Paul. He's been lifting his second home run of the year. This one, his first career grand slam. Angels for Manny Ramirez, when this game's over, Manny will be 7 for 13 with three homers and eight RBI against Burley. Gets a grand slam right there. Manny's now hitting 342, 16 homer, 176 RBI in his career with the bases loaded. And we have even more numbers besides that. Ramirez now tied with Rock and Robin Ventura for the most Grand Slam home runs by an active player with 16. Ventura suiting up for the Dodgers these days. Loaded. Sean Green came in batting 583 career against Hampton. 14 for 24. He's going to Denny's order in the Grand Slam. He did another homer later in this game. Sean Green's on fire. Later in this game is where we are. Top Scott Erickson. And the Lord said, John, you got to rise up. Well, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. First home run, it's a grand slam in his first official at bat since that home run back in 2001. Top eight, 7-4 game. Larry Walker's up with the bases Chuck. Last time he came up with the sacks full, that was Tuesday, and he took Danny Graves out of the yard there at Bush Stadium, a grand slam, the sixth of his career, because you know you've got to have the money ball. So back to Sunday facing Brian Meadows, and that's, that's not coming back either. Four-run homer, his 10th homer of the year. Seven career grand. He's got four homers since coming over to St. Louis. 15 RBI. The Cards are going to win at 11 to four. It's their eighth straight series win and 14 in the last 15 series. Second in the majors. Rocky Biddle to Beltrake. Deep and gone. And isn't that grand? His fourth career grand slam. 40th homer of the year. Seventh Dodger to ever have 40 homers in a season. Bases loaded in the third. Tigers down one. Carlos Pena, a la Jill Scott. Beautifully human. His third career grand slam. He's got a 10-game hitting streak. Pena's 19th home run of the year. Down facial hair, of course, makes you strong. Derek Lee, bases loaded. You have got to have the money ball. Derek Lee's 27th home run of the season. 7-0 Cubs in this one. Ramos Marias would add. In 91 and then in the seventh, the your finishing touch. Jose Molina, his first career grand slam in an Angels onslaught over the Royals. For Devanin, the sixth cycle in the majors this season. 21 to six. The Sun Mariners, bases loaded in the first. Abraham Nunez at bat, Jamie Moyer on the mound, and that was his first mistake. The 35th home run Jamie Moyer has given up this season, most in the AL. It's for nothing, Kansas City, but it's all home run shy of becoming the sixth switch hitter ever with 300 plus home runs. They are loaded for Sierra, and he unloads on Kerry Leitenberg. Grand slam. The home run is 15th of the season and 300th of his career. 1,541 feet worth of Yankee home. Grand slam. Watch that, baby. with the bases loaded, your active leader in Grand Slams and supersize that one, my friends. His 17th career Grand Slam, he is now tied with Jimmy Fox and Ted Williams with 17 Grand Slams. Dodgers win 10-2. Everything was good until the bullpen came in. Top of the line, 10 3 Red Sox with bases loaded, and Mike Myers said, you know what, let's make it exciting. After three singles, Alfredo, 
game series and 28 runs scored by the Astros. Top of the seven, bases loaded. Jeff Kenton, supersize that, please. Houston has won 14 of 17. Here they come. That's Kent's 11th grand slam in his career. 9-3, the final score. Half of the seventh, the Red Sox load him up for Mark Bellhorn hits it wicked hard. Deep far up and gone! The Red Sox right back in and it's 8-5. Facing Steven Randolph. And Grissom, his 19th home run of the year, his fourth career grand slam. It's now 7-5 as Randolph gave a five straight. Got one in here, there, curveball, slider. Fine. Throw a strike and don't let him hit it. Ouch! Ooh. Bang him and bang him curve, a grand slam to right. Gross his first major league granny. He left for precautionary reasons. Later in the inning, Mark Sweeney with the bases loaded, and he unloads a grand slam, his ninth home run this year, his first career grand slam, and a team record fifth pinch hit home run this year, and he knew it. It's a top lane nominee in a 6-4 Rockies league. Time in 11 decisions. Here's why, bottom seven, pinch hitting at Robin Ventura. 17 career grand slams tied with Jimmy Fox and Teddy Ballgame for fourth all time. And off Chad Durbin, he hits his fifth home run of the year and his 18th career grand slam. So Ventura now tied with Willie McCovey for third all time. The Dodgers win 8-2. L.A. now four and a half up on the Giants. And the signs and signs, signs. Everywhere's a sign. Off a of Casey Fossum. Grand slam homer for Almedo Signs, number seven on the year. Let's flash back, shall we, to Tuesday night. He's up in the seventh, and they are loaded. And the, he unloads his second home run of the game, 40th of the season, 13-2 Red Sox, as Kurt Schilling wins his 19th. Ichiro 0 for 4, Boston 2 and a half behind the Yankees. Bottom eight, bases loaded, Sammy Sosa. And the Lord said you got to rise up. Second home run of the day, 32nd of the year. Eighth career grand slam comes, win it 13 to five. Or the bases are chucked, Orioles up one, nothing, BJ Suroff. He is no Derek Jeter, because he has a grand slam. His sixth career slam, sixth home run of the year. So very Michael Young. Oh, to be young and athletic. That is way high. That is some bad upward feedback, if you ask me. 21st homer of the season for him. Rangers led it 7-2 there. They go on to win it by a count of 9-4. Team up 5-3. Bottom 7-6-4. Bases loaded. Juan Uribe is pinch hitting. And you don't pinch hit better than that. His first career grand slam. First pinch hit granny for the Sox since 1985. They go on to win it 8-6. But, you know, a day after clinching walks in the game, three of them intentionally. Bottom eight, tied up, Pedro Feliz, bases loaded. He hammers one to left field. That ball is going to go for a grand slam. Pedro Feliz crushed it. His fourth hit of the day, second career grand slam, 21st home run of the season. Giants, a game and a half back. They win 9-5. Beltre waiting. 1-0 pitch, fastball, right to left. Back goes Piedra, grand slam home run for Adrian Beltre. And the Dodgers lead 5-2. to two. The 1-1 pitch, a swing and a high fly ball. Deep left center field, way back, Granderson at the wall. Grand slam, Carlos Lee. So Clay was right. So was Weissman Hughes. They sponsored the home runs this year. A one game lead over Oakland. Alfredo Amezica with the bases loaded. Well, Adam Kennedy's out hurt. His replacement says, I'll do it for you. Two for five with the bases loaded this year, both grand slams. Eight nothing. Home leads. runs this year have been grand slams. Eight nothing. Johnny 
Damon. Quiet all series goes deep. Four more runs and it's 6-0.